Hey folks and welcome to TheyMightBeRacing.com. Today I'm behind the camera as we go over the fuel injection setup that one of my friends Steve has done on his uh, Jensen Healy. So I'm going to turn it over to Steve to describe what he has done on the car. Hello, this is a first revision of a fuel injection system for the Lotus 907 motor as fitted to a 1973 Jensen Healy. It uses a lot of creative use of parts that exist from other cars, uh, such as the uh, throttle bodies that I've been using here are individual throttle bodies off of a Nissan Maxima. The fuel injectors are off of a Dodge Neon, about a 97 to 99 Dodge Neon. The fuel rail is out of a Saab 900 turbo, uh, along with a, a lot of the fuel line. And uh, the, most of the ignition system is from a Ford, either a Ford Escort, four-cylinder, or a Ford Taurus. And by combining all these parts along with a Megasquirt uh, fuel injection control unit that also controls the ignition timing, uh, I'm able to get quite a bit of a efficiency, quite a bit of a, an efficiency boost or a power boost out of this setup. So right now it's, at, like I said, it's at about a 0.9 revision or 0.10. Uh, some of the things that still need to be done is I need to do redo the throttle linkage because it's got some issues with uh, uh, the original design. Obviously, as you can see, the wiring is kind of a rat's nest, so Jody and I are going to be redoing the wiring and repositioning some components to clean up the wiring. Uh, the fuel system is, is fairly interesting in that I'm using a low-pressure pump to supply a surge tank that the high-pressure pump uh, pulls out of, runs up to the, to the fuel rail here, keeps the fuel, pressure, or the fuel pressure at the injectors at a constant amount, under, by the battery over here is a fuel pressure regulator which then returns back to the tank and so uh, I think on a second revision of this we're also going to eliminate the low pressure pump and feed that surge tank via gravity from the bottom of the uh, existing tank drain in the Jensen Healy tank. Um, that's really about it. Uh, it is using a coolant temperature sensor, a throttle position sensor, uh, this vacuum line that senses the, the uh, manifold air pressure in the manifold and uh, the fuel pressure regulator and this air temperature sensor for the incoming air intake and that's really all it's using for uh, to measure the load and, and figure out how much fuel is going on. There's also a crank fired ignition system up here so if you'll notice I can reach in here and there's no distributor. Um, so the distributor is gone. It's being run off of this toothed wheel on the front of the motor here in combination with the coil pack and the controller. And then the actual ignition timing is done again by the mega squirt unit. All right, Steve. Well, why don't we fire it up and see what it sounds like? Hopefully no parts will fall off or burst into flame. One of the nice things you can see is unlike the traditional Jensen Healy startup, there's no continuous cranking of the car trying to get everything going. It's idling nicely. Now one of the things to keep in mind is this car has not been tuned yet. So this is just the default tune package. So as Steve goes through and does the rest of his modifications, the next phase of that will be also to tune the system so that it's delivering the correct amount of fuel, etc at the appropriate times. So this pretty much finishes up our coverage of the first round of the fuel injection system. Uh, after the next set of modifications are done, we'll make sure to give you guys all an update and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put together an article in the near future that explains exactly